What's up, everybody? This is Eric Nam, and I'm here to talk to you about a brand new, really cool, super trendy, all the insiders are doing it platform, and it's called Mindset. What is Mindset? Mindset by Dive Studios is a brand new platform where we have audio collections and boosters, right, from your favorite artists, including myself. And we go through our lives and we go through the highs and lows, the struggles, the, the triumphs. There's going to be tears, there's going to be laughter, there's all sorts of emotions that you are going to get out of this mindset application and and myself i'm doing it because i want to be able to impact listeners in a very positive way i want to share stories that are raw intimate vulnerable and honest um, about me with everybody else so that hopefully you guys feel heard and seen and understood in some way and and hopefully impacted in a positive way so you guys can check it out it's free to download you can go to get mindset g-e-t-m-i-n-d-s-e-t dot com or go to your app store and type in mindset by dive studios it's free to download and you can start listening for free it is free to start listening so please check it out support the cause we've worked really hard on it and i hope you absolutely love it so i'll see you guys on the platform getmindset.com and uh now back to your show All right. Welcome, everybody, again to another episode of Get Real, hosted by Get us, Real. BM. Ashley B. Choi. And Neil. Of and B. Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Where we get honest about the ups and downs of our young adulthood, but from our perspective. And if you guys didn't hear, we got Jackson Wayne from China in the building. <laughs> T. Wayne in the house. We got T. Wayne in the building. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes, I've been sir. wanting to come to the show a long time ago, but, uh, you know… You guys never reached out. Uh, we did it. Uh, oh, hold on, wait a minute. I we didn't reach out. Out. Yeah. Who didn't reach out? No, no. Actually, I really wanted Diane. to be on. And yeah. I, I know there's another podcast with uh, Eric Nam, right? Right, yeah. right. And there's one that Jay's on. Uh huh. Right, right, right. Wait, yeah. Do they have like their own separate ones or what? What is it? Oh, um, yeah, yeah they it's have all their separate. Own shows. All separate. Like yeah. Jay has his own, mm-hmm. and Eric has his own. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is the most popular one, is it? Probably. Yeah. Oh <laughs> <laughs> Shut that down. Uh, <laughs> like uh, Peniel was saying, welcome again to the most popular podcast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, today, today's episode, we're gonna get into some different topics this time. We're gonna get into hometown heroes. Oh, wow. Hometown yeah. Heroes. Where do we grow up? What do we remember most about our childhood stomping grounds? Do we ever really forget where we come from? Mm. Distance makes the heart grow fonder after all. And we've come a long way since leaving the comforts of home. Mm -hmm. Man. Yes, sir. Interact with us on our socials at The Dive Studios or leave a comment on our full episode videos at youtube.com slash divepods. Mm -hmm. And subscribe to the podcast on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Leave a review on Apple Podcasts so more people can know about our show and Mm -hmm. join in on the fun. Nice, nice. Yes, sir. uh, uh, Dive Studio has uh, 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 Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, Mm -hmm. we do. Yes, sir, we do. Yeah. Oh, oh we might have followed right now. <laughs> Get up on that. Well, while, while you're following, what's your Instagram? Okay. So yeah, follow. there Dive you go. Studios not following me. Okay, let me, fo- let me, let me follow oh, first. Oh, someone yes. is… Friends now. Who's not… Who's in charge okay. of the social media team <laughs> right here? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's point pointing fingers. fingers. Each other. That's Everyone's good. pointing fingers. I love his dive studio. Uh, Yeah. Well, first things first, how have you been, Jackson? Oh my god. Uh, what have you been up to? Me? Uh, uh, personally, just… I'm starting to really, really try to uh, work in Korea mm-hmm. this year. Mm-hmm. Uh, we just finished a contract uh, with JIP. Mm. Mm-hmm. And then… But we're still… We're still got seven. You know, we still work. We're, we're, we're still gonna, you know, come out with songs. Uh, but this year, I think uh, the majority of the the whole year, uh, everyone's just just trying to prepare on uh, do their own stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, for sure, you for know, sure. each member some wants to act. You know, some some's going back to you know, Mark Mark went back to LA, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, JB, uh, Ugam preparing their album, mm-hmm. uh, Bam Bam. I have no idea what he's doing, but… 
<laughs> but he, 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 he's, he seems like to, to do a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. Commercials. Mm-hmm. Well, he's really… He's like the prince in, 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 in Thailand. Thailand right? yeah. And right, you know, right, he's right. doing a lot of stuff. Music. He's, he's also thinking about into acting. But mm. you know, we didn't really have a deep conversation about that. And uh, Young Jess preparing his album. Me… I'm also preparing my album, uh, English album and Chinese album. Also, oh, nice. a lot of collaborations this year. And I was even talking about a song with you, you know? Yeah. You know, I'll be working, right oh. working on that one right now. that right. And then… Yeah, also at the same time, you know, uh, running my own company. Uh, it's called Team Wang. Team Wang. Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah. Wang. talk about it. Wow. Yeah, so it's it, it's t- two identities. Mm. Like just one as an artist, as a singer, performer. And one uh, as… Uh, just running a company, whatever you call it, like CEO. Not, not, not really CEO, not really, not really CEO, not really CEO. It's more of like uh, chairman. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. It's like uh, a guy who runs the company. Founder? That's it. Mm. Yeah, that's Isn't not that founder. CEO? No, 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 okay, no, no. okay. No, no. Founder, yeah. nice. Okay. Yeah. I'm not the CEO, but I own the company. <laughs> founder. I was a president. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, president. Oh, you want it? Okay, president. No, 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 no. no, no. Okay. Jackson's uh, what being call, what, what do you call it? Just founder. Founder. Okay. Founder. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. dope. Yeah. And that's Founding been… Founding father. <laughs> Team Wang has been alive for how long now? Because you started uh, that when you were in JYP, right? Yeah, yeah, started that when I was 23. Uh, <gasps> wow. So, four, four years ago. I yeah. think I could barely walk when I was 23, bro. <laughs> 20, yeah, 20, uh, four years ago. Mm. And uh, I worked as a solo over there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then it was… I could work uh, everywhere uh, except for Korea. Mm. That was the deal. That was the deal. Oh. So then, you know, as, okay. since the contract ended, um, you know, I'm trying to bring everything back. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, okay. all my music, uh, endorsements, it's just everything. Uh, what I've what I've done in, in four years to try to bring it back. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. So you're okay. initially trying to build your brand again. In yeah, Korea. in Korea, because because no, okay. uh, since my songs, you can't you can't you can't find any of my songs in in Korea. What? You know, like oh, on really? every platform. Yeah. Oh. So this year, I'm trying to like. Uh, distribute it again mm. in in, mm. in in Korea. Okay, so okay. trying to uh, connect with the Korean audience again. Oh. Right, yeah. right. Oh, I mean, yeah. I feel like it should be pretty easy, right? If you did the partnership with Sublime. Yeah, I mean, Sublime right. has been a great, great team. Mm. Great team. A very um, friendly family. Uh, very good to work with. Mm. And so I just suggest uh, if your contract ends, mm-hmm. please come to Sublime. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk just kidding, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> opinion, 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 mm. opinion. Personal opinion. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion. Yeah. You know? yeah. yes. All right, all right. Okay, very so, great team, though. Very great oh, team. Yeah. Okay. That's good. That's good. Yeah. To yeah. Hear. You've been grinding. You've been trying to rebrand the team wing. You've been in the studio, I think, like every day for the past two weeks, right? Yes. Uh, mm. Just recordings and recordings because, you know, uh, nothing else to do, you know? You know, like, <laughs> you know, like nothing else. I have to prepare. I prepare the bullets, you know? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Or else, because uh, I think my album is coming out, uh, global album is coming out in August. Wow. Ooh, okay, okay. And songs and a lot of singles uh, in between, uh, right. collaborations. Uh, my next single is going to be in March. Wow, oh, that's soon. Okay, that's okay. very yeah, soon. Yeah, what's that like? That's a, a love story. Ooh, yeah, a love story. Just you, or you got a feature on there, or is that uh, a secret? No, 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 just me, just me. Just oh, you. Yeah, okay. I have to, uh, you know, just preparing. You know, all these days, just trying to write. Uh, Cause all my music video, I write my own treatment, mm. and then I. Uh, it takes time. It really takes time. It takes time I'm to sure find the location and, and 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 rehearsals. Wow! And shoot like a demo music video, like mm. uh, and find and find the right right actress, actor, and and choreo, yeah, yeah. choreo, and then everything. Yeah, you're gonna be shooting all that in Korea. Yeah, I'm shooting that at the end of February. Okay, yeah. Yeah. and then yeah. in March, is it gonna be out Korea and globally? Uh, globally, global, go, globally. Not not in Korea yet. No, this year in Korea. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, from yeah, now on. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. Worldwide, we getting it. All right, all right, yeah. all right. Yo, so we yeah. got a couple questions from some fans mm-hmm. on uh, Instagram and Twitter. Um, Aqua Bum asks, what do you feel is the thing that drives you to work harder? Aqua Bum? Yeah. <laughs> Aqua Bum? Like, Aqua Bum. Damn. Like, B-E-O-M. Uh, honestly, like, since, uh, since I debuted, uh, 
no one really… Uh, not no one. On, the only person, the only people that really believed in me and had faith in me uh, were my fans. Right. You know? right. And, mm-hmm. and, and then uh, I've always wanted to make them proud. Mm-hmm. Uh, so to a level that when they… When they… When they're… Uh, with their friends or, or when they're outside, when they talk, hey, 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 I really like Jackson. I like Jackson's music. I like Jackson this. Or when they mention the name Jackson Wang, mm-hmm. like I want their, the people around them to agree. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, to feel, uh, uh, to feel like they, are, they, they, uh, they agree with your fans. Your, yeah, my fans. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wanted to, I wanted that happen. And, uh, so whatever I do, I just want to make them proud. Yeah, bro. And that right, motivates right. me the most. Yeah. Nice. I mean, yeah. besides all like the hard that you do, like all the hip hop and stuff, and all like you know the macho stuff you show and, and and portray on music videos, you do do a good job, I think, on your platforms showing your fans appreciation and stuff too. So that's dope, man. For sure. For yeah, sure. and and also like that. Uh, at the same time, you know, as I'm Chinese mm-hmm. and also uh, at the same time I'm Asian, mm-hmm. I'm really trying to uh, um, share the Asian culture more and more to the Western audience. Ooh. You know, like I feel, you know, there 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 is a barrier. You mm-hmm. know, like uh, you know, we Asians, there are they, uh, Western Western. They 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 don't know a hundred percent. Yeah. About our culture. Yeah. Oh, for and we sure. don't either. So uh, I want to connect more with with mm. uh, globally. Mm. This is my 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 goal too. You want to mm. be that yeah. bridge. Yeah. I think you're oh, well on your way, bro. Yeah. Um, we also had a question from WJ Papillone who says, What's the most fun slash happiest part about being an artist? And what's sometimes the hardest? Mm. Oh man. Uh the the happiest, I would say, you know, being able to uh um achieve a certain uh result mm-hmm. and also be uh, uh to to show appreciation to fans mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. that hey I, 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 every prize or every result that i have at this moment it's all it belongs to them mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. this is my happiest moment to to show them that hey uh uh, uh i can make you more proud Mm. Yeah, yeah, and that, that, and also like being able to perform in front of all the fans, mm-hmm. right? Know, because right, right. In, in some ways, you know, like we've all performed in like you know in front of a lot of fans, but we all know that it doesn't last forever, you know. Of course. So yeah. then, in, in some way, that I really appreciate mm-hmm. it, and, and that's like a very precious memory uh, yeah. of a lifetime, mm-hmm. you know. And hardest part is hardest part is. He's like, how much time we got? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, no. Hardest part is that, like, a, 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 a very happy uh, moment. It always ends up to, to to a question like, oh, how 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 long can this last? Mm. You know, that that's like the hardest part. Oh, mm. I have to cherish every every moment, right? You know? mm. And 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 how long can I do this? Mm. You know, like, is my uh, my body condition, my mental, uh, physically, am I able to? Uh, uh, you know, keep up, keep up. Worry for, about the future. Yeah, what about the future? That yeah, I feel that. that. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like most artists, for the most part, it's always like that. Like, how am I gonna top my next? How am I gonna yeah. top my current one with the next one? And how am I gonna top that one after that? And like, just like, how am I gonna consistently keep longevity as an artist? I feel that. True. True. Very true. Yeah, man. Woo. What, what, why am I only the one answer? Why aren't you guys answering? Because these, these are, are questions for you. For I, know, you. Yeah, I want to know too. I want to know too. I thought <laughs> these, this was going to be a conversation. Wanna, these we fans are, don't want to hear our answers. Yeah. They're, They're sick of us. Papillon, <laughs> that's your song. No, no, that's no, not no, our no, song. No, 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 just, try, try, try. Just, 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 uh, long story short. Mm. All right, what's yeah, the, what do you guys the happiest and what's the hardest part of being a… I think happiest… Um, obviously, like Jackson was talking about… You know, releasing music and seeing um, just fans go crazy over it. Because mm. um, when it when it when, when you're in a creative field and you kind of bring in something to reality that came from your head, and you see people rocking with that, it's like, oh, shit, I'm the. Shit. 
Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> like Kinda, there's there's but... like that. And then there's like, you know, like you were saying, appreciation. Like, damn, like that resonates with you. Like me and you are one right now. Like tight, you know what I mean? Like mm. it's a, it's, it's a, you build an intimate relationship with fans. And um, I feel like that's probably one of the best parts because especially when you get to be on tour and you get to see it face to face. And, right, right, you know, right. um, I feel like that's literally the best part. And um, the hardest part, Come back to me. Let me think about this you one. You want to think about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you want to go first? No. No? All right. There's so uh, many hardest parts. Yeah, uh, <laughs> there's so many hardest parts. We could do a whole <laughs> episode on the hardest, hardest part, part about man. being an artist. I've I, I seen you guys talk about the hardest part being in training. Uh, oh, yeah. Really? yeah I, I, I saw thought, that. I saw that. Oh, that was on another podcast or what? Oh, I don't know. No, that, was that was on ours. Yeah, yeah. Was I thought training was pretty fun for me. <laughs> we had a pretty fun time. <laughs> we had, yo, we had a… I had some hard moments. I, guess, I had some I hard guess, moments. Because you know like… Yo, no, no, no. You came like… We were in the same company. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. And, and uh, you came two years before me or one year? No, no. I think like… You came with Mark. A year or like six with months Mark and Bam Bam? No, I came a little before them too. Then two years. Two no, years no, no, before no. me. I got cut exactly two years. What? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? So like… Uh, right. I was only a trainee at JYP for two years. And I got cut. So I think I was there for like maybe a year before you. Oh. A year, year and a half before you. Maybe, Bam Bam maybe. and Mark came in a year before me. Oh really? Okay. Then maybe yeah. like a year <laughs> and a half before you? Yeah. So… To me, I didn't know Korean. Mm. Oh yeah, okay. right. Yeah, yeah. And 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 <clears throat> I was a fencer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What do you expect Yo, a fencer to do? He had like in trainee. Like, what do you expect from a fencer? You expect expect him to dance. <laughs> you expect him to sing, to rap, nothing. So, so you had no musical no, no, or dancing background. I was background? so happy. And, but, and 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 yeah, I was. I mean, so, didn't you like audition with rap or something? No, right? I auditioned with dance. Oh, oh. yeah, dance, dance but like just freestyle and and. and it was whack. Okay, I I, I knew it. No, but, then I, but you got I, in. No, I, I felt good. Uh huh. But it was whack. I know. I knew it. Right? Did you Did you think it was whack at the time? It's, st- it's still on the internet. Oh really? People still tr- like. Tr- I want to see. <laughs> people still po- don't don't please. <laughs> hey wait wait. No, wait, wait people still laugh. Wait. Really? Uh, when no, did your mindset change? Because I remember when you first came into the company, you're like, Hey Young, like. It's pretty good, right? Yeah, I thought <laughs> I felt good. Aww. I thought you guys were gonna feel good, but I knew it was a little whack, <laughs> for sure. Even at the time. You know? But then you know the video's still online, and Wait, everyone's you're still looking it up. No, right now? everyone's still like, "Hey, it's cute, it's cute." But hey, what do you expect? You hey, know, like mm-hmm. whatever. It, it got you into the company, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah got whatever. Me. How, how old were you? At the time I when was you first 16. Sixteen. Sixteen when you first came to Korea. Aww. Yeah. And then wow. I didn't know Korea. I didn't know how to sing, how to dance, how to do anything. And I was pretty buff back then, yeah, right? Yeah, dude. He had like… It, it was like his triceps. Uh-huh. They were like abnormally huge. I was like, what the… It's the fencer My thighs. Huh? Yeah, and Remember? his thighs, dude. Mm. I was like… Like crazy. Girls love a nice but, pair of thighs, right. bro. And, uh, apparently they didn't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> apparently they didn't. Uh, uh, and then I, I ca- difference, maybe. <laughs> no, I, ca- I, I, I came in and I was in depression oh. from a third since the third day mm. in Korea. Remember, I was telling you, yeah. I was telling you, hey, I, I said, Hyung, I was, go- I'm gonna get cut. Remember, I said, yeah, I'm gonna it was get like the third day. I was like, bro, you just <laughs> got here. <laughs> 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 yeah. and, and, and first day he helped me uh, carry my uh, luggage mm-hmm. uh, up the stairs because we lived like on the fifth floor. Yeah. There, no were, ele- there no was no ele- elevator. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, good days. And we, we, we always hang like me, me, Panil, uh, Mark, uh, Bam Bam, and Don. Yeah, and Eugene. And Eugene. Yeah. It was like all the English speaking people. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That's when my uh, Korean skills stopped improving. <laughs> <laughs> it was like only Korean people. So I was like, uh, in order to survive. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, like all these English speakers started coming in. My, my Korean skills just went… <laughs> 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 yeah. 
I yeah. Think, uh, it's a perfect segue to talk about hometown now. So hometown, where were you guys? Okay. Where I, well, I know where we were before we came mm. as trainees. Where, where, where were you? I was in LA. Oh, right, right. I heard. Yeah. I started late, bro. I came here when I was 20. You and Isaac yeah. were high school. <laughs> Junior yeah. high. You and Isaac, <laughs> yeah. you guys were high school. <laughs> Junior uh, high, bro. Junior high. Yeah, we're way classmates, up. right? Oh, um, he's a senior. church mates. Oh, church mates. Yeah, right, right, right. We're in at LA. the same church in LA. Yeah, yeah, and LA and New York City. New York. Mm. I mean, New York. Chicago. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> and you're from Hong Kong, China. Uh huh. Yeah. You went to uh, international school out there, huh? Yeah. Uh, since grade four, mm. and we- the reason I went uh, was because I, I attended. I went to a local primary school uh grade one to grade three mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then uh the teachers they had a serious conversation with my parents thinking that uh i've like mentally disordered uh, uh what do you call that a mental disorder like yeah, a mental um, disorder you were struggling yeah. Mentally. Yeah, yeah and then what and then they said i had adhd uh, and then uh, like mental mm. disorder whatever i think i think he should go to see the doctor mm-hmm. You know, and then, uh, so my parents cried, mm-hmm. and then, but one one of the teachers, because my mom's a gymnast, mm. like oh, gymnast, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, we're, wow. uh, she's a she's a uh, world champ gymnast. Wow, and that's why she's like, uh, she's teaching the school gymnastic. Okay, okay. At the same school, oh. right? And then one of the teacher, uh, one of the students teach, uh, one of the students mother is the teacher in that school, uh-huh. and then after she uh, heard about. This this uh, incident, uh, she she went up to my mom and be like, "Hey, I think he should maybe maybe try to you know bring him to international school maybe because he's so active, you know mm. he, he he he's open minded. Like, what? Give it a try. Wow. Okay. And then I went. Then nothing happened. And no, <laughs> yeah. So that I think so in that international sure school, everyone's crazy. <laughs> That's why I, uh, in that international school, everyone is crazy. Perfect uh, place to fit in. Everyone I went and. Shit, I'm normal. You know? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this is the thing. In in, in local schools, uh, they're very strict about you can't when, you, when when you go up the stairs, you can't mm-hmm. go double at a time. What? Oh, what? You can't take you two know, steps. You at can't. A time? You can't take two steps Why? at a time. Like if you Man. if if you do, you get like a what do you what, like a mark or like, whatever, like right? Ear jump. Or what is like, it for? Like yeah. a safety hazard or is it? Just, I don't know. Uh, maybe Man, like you can't you so can't do that. Slow at this yeah, point, and, and and you can't you can't drink. It. Let's say you have a lemon tea, you can't drink that. Oh, just like water. Only water. Yeah. So I thought like, hey, mom. Uh, I said, teacher, uh, excuse me, can I uh, can I can I have a drink? And then she's like, oh yeah, sure. And then I, I took out my lemon tea and I started drinking. I said, Jackson, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. Go to the office. Or and then they thought like you know I had mental disorder. What? Because you drink lemon tea? No, for like, because uh, I didn't listen. Oh, uh, yeah. wow! So, it's very strict in, 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 in local schools. Like all, imagine. all no, just that school. That oh. school okay, okay, in Hong okay, Kong. Okay, okay, okay. That school was really okay, strict. Okay. Wow. And then your yeah. international school was just international schools. They don't Everything give goes a, pretty they, much. They don't really care. You sleep on the table. It doesn't care. It doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter. Ain't nobody <laughs> taking my lemon tea back today. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter as long as you get your work done. Right, oh, right, right. right. Yeah, it's okay, international okay. school. You know? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. So it's like American public school. <laughs> mm. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. Hong Kong high schools. They got you on lockdown, huh? Dang. Lockdown until third grade. That it almost sounds like um. Like, aren't boarding schools kind of strict like that, right? I guess so. Yeah, yeah. I see Diane nodding right. her head. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you were nodding your head. <laughs> oh. Or like private schools, right? They're a little more strict with that stuff, I feel like. Okay, never so, mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. So in Kong, in your regular school, before you went to the international school, do, what language do they speak? Like, oh, they mainly? speak uh, Cantonese. Cantonese. Cantonese okay. uh-huh. and Mandarin. And then in the international school, you only speak English? International school, uh, because there's so many uh, uh, people from different countries. Uh We speak everything. Like, uh, oh, you mean, you mean, you mean like the the majors? Yeah, like like the main, like what is the What language do they teach in? Oh, English. Uh. And French and Spanish. Whoa, so you know how to speak? I didn't go for uh, Spanish. I went to French. And then uh, for 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 a year, uh-huh. and I failed, and so <laughs> so I changed back to Mandarin. 
<laughs> hey, you gotta stick to what you're good at. You gotta yeah, stick to what you're yeah, good yeah, at. Yeah, Going yeah. to international school to study Mandarin. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good choice. It's okay. You beat easy the system. A. Easy yeah. A. Easy I A. Beat it. You beat the system. Easy A. I didn't. Oh, I didn't get an A. Oh, yeah. what? I think it was a C or B. Huh? In Mandarin? Yeah. It's okay. Pretty. Yeah. Yeah. That's Where were okay. you? Where were your guys' like main kick it spots like when you were younger? Kick it spot? Like where'd you guys kick it at the most? Uh, let's say… What do you mean mall? by kick it? Like, like hang out. After school? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Would there, would there be where, like a spot? You, yeah, you the go? mall. It would just be the mall. Mm-hmm. The mall is a good place. It's like that or we're just like outside running around. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Running around? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> running around. School's over. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, we're, we're just outside uh, or the mall. That's pretty much where I hung out. Uh, what about you, Ashley? Well, in New York, um, malls, the closest mall is like 40 minutes away by car. So, a uh, mall would be just like a special thing that you would do on a special day. Like with your ask your parents for a ride. So, mm-hmm. usually after school, uh, I'm from Queens. So, we hung out in Flushing a lot. And mm. Flushing was basically like um, Korea, but like from the 80s. It was just like, Korea on in the eighties. Wow! Because we had we had all these Korean stores and stuff, but it was just mm-hmm. very old. And uh, you know, we like had Morning like, Glory. In yeah, the yeah we had like Morning oh, Glory. Okay. Yeah, we had that. like Korea Dang. Okay. We had uh, Seoul yeah, Sunday, yeah, Kumgang San, like all these Korean restaurants. Uh, we would basically we had like a ritual. We would go take sticker pictures at mm-hmm. this place called Totos, and then we would go to Star Norebang, sing for an hour, and then we could, we would go to Kim <laughs> Gane, um, eat cheese donkasu with kimchi bokkeumbap. And then go to Korea Dang. Oh, New York. Yeah, in Flushing. It's like it's like K Town, basically. You guys, you were pretty much you in Korea s- in the states. Yeah, I was. You had a wow. set routine. What yeah, the yeah. Heck? Oh. Seriously, it's uh, <laughs> one p.m. Time to eat that kimchi bokum. <laughs> yeah, and to do all that, we only needed twenty dollars because it was like five dollars to take sticker pictures. It was five dollars for karaoke, and it was like five dollars for tonkatsu. Dang. Like, yeah, so it was really cheap back then. Dang. Mm-hmm. That was all what right. I did. I okay. love the pizza. Huh? I love the $1 uh, pizza. Yes. So it's good. So, oh, China Mac brought me uh, to this pizza place. So yeah. good. In LA? So in, yeah. uh, uh, New York. Oh, okay. So good. Very good. Where is it? New, I, I don't even know. It's somewhere on the street. <laughs> and then… <laughs> it, was, it was really good. And then he's like, yo, New York has the best pizza. It's oh yeah, they're gem. famous for it. Mm-hmm. New York and good. Chicago. Oh no, yeah. not Chicago. And Halal guy. Halal guy. <laughs> oh yeah, Halal guy is in New York. Guy. Is fire. Yeah, 53rd and 6. We got deep yeah. dish. So I good. hate deep dish. Oh, they have one in, in Korea. In Chicago. The Halal guys? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah uh, they Supposedly do. it's not as good as the New York one. Oh, it's not as good? That's what they say. Oh. I still they like it though. That's what I heard too, but I think it's pretty good. I you think they have two right now, right? There's one in Itaewon and there's one in Gangnam, I think. Yeah. You never ate Halal guys in New York? I had it like once in my entire life. I don't yeah. really I heard, like it. Uh, yeah. No, but I heard a lot of New York people don't eat it that much. My brother does. My brother drives out into the city like every week to get okay, it well, and wait online. Was, mm-hmm. There are people who like it, but I didn't really like it. Yeah, dude. I had there's that's a, like one. There's thing. another place in uh Cheongdam. Jidai Bros. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Jidai Bros. Bros. So Jidai good. Bros. Oh, Jidai Bros. So good. I know what you're talking so about. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So good. That place is good. That place is so good. good. What's up guys? It's Ashley. How are you guys? How are you really? You all know that we pride ourselves in how open and honest we are about our ups and downs as we go through life. The most unexpected things can happen and it can sometimes feel difficult to navigate through them alone. Our sponsor for this episode, BetterHelp, wants to be a platform where people can reach out to professionals that are ready to talk 24-7. Their mission is to get people help as soon as they can in the most affordable way and even offer financial aid for those who may need it. It's a great alternative to meeting someone in person during times like this where seeing people is difficult and even potentially scary. Be safe, everyone. So I want you to start living a happier life today. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash getreal. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Again, that's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash GetReal10. All right, now back to the show. Uh, 
I want to hear about Hong Kong though, because I've been to Chicago and I've been to LA before, but I've never been to Hong Kong. So. I didn't really <laughs> chill. Mm. Like <laughs> after were... school, I just went to fencing. fencing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I feel like... so it's like eight in the morning to three o'clock school, and right. then from four thirty to ten fencing. Ooh. So from so from three to four thirty, I go to the what do you call it, the center the national team center uh-huh. yeah and then I try to do my homework which I really didn't really try uh-huh. but I just <laughs> pretended and then you tried to try I tried to try but it doesn't work and uh, screw it and then, you have to practice yeah I, I get ready for for practice and then until ten o'clock after that uh, I, I go home and and try again mm-hmm. if it doesn't work then i say you know screw it mm-hmm. sleep okay wow. so every day has been like that and, and and usually i skipped half of the semester mm-hmm. of school uh, of school because, because of I, i'm always in europe <gasps> europe uh just flying around for 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 tournaments you were wow. on the Dang. olympic team yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <gasps> That's Dang. So crazy you were Yo. gonna weren't you gonna Go out on the actual Olympics. Yeah, yeah right? I was. I but was then... going. I was preparing for a London Olympics, uh, wow. twenty twelve. <gasps> right. I, I I came into JIP, twenty eleven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I had a really hard time, twenty twelve, because, uh, well, uh, there are no no future plans for me as a trainee. Right. Because I've only been in the company for one year, mm. and all my friends, they're they're on TV. Mm. Mm. Like I see it through TV because it's the Olympics, yeah. right? And then like uh, my my Korean seniors friends, uh, well they're th- they're the world number one right now. They're the world <gasps> rank. Wow! But they Ooh. got the they got the team division gold medal and 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 fencing in London, you know. So I, I was really not jealous, but I'm so happy for them. But mm-hmm. then I, I I was just thinking in my mind, I was having a hard time. I was like. You know, I I could have, you know, be there yeah. to witness right. witness that too. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. but I could have maybe not. You know, but but I'm here with no right. with no future plans. Nobody really gives a a, 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 a damn about me. You know, so, so I had you could, that. You could say it if you want. No <laughs> give. <laughs> no, 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 really. Nobody really cares. Right. And I was really in depression back then. I yeah. feel oh. that, man. Because yeah, I remember. Even when um, at the time I got cut, right. even then you weren't like in the got seven like uh, there there are project groups right yeah, yeah before, you weren't in the project yeah. even when I got cut before projects there were like uh, kyoyuk sang yeah 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 it's educated like kids kyoyuk sang is, <laughs> is that what no, you call it kyoyuk oh, sang okay. so kyoyuk like, sang is like yeah. educated kids I guess like he translated literally. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Educated kids, and then there's Yunsub Singh, like yeah. really trainees. Mm-hmm. So it's like Yunsub yeah. Singh. You come in as a Yunsub Singh, mm-hmm. and then like the if you you get like promoted to Kyuk Singh, and then from Kyuk Singh you get promoted to a project, project group, mm-hmm. and then you debut after yeah. your yeah. project. Wow, I wasn't, I was uh, none of them. Yeah, I was, I was trainee all the way. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. How many years did it take you to get into Kyuk Singh? There, I never, and I, 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 I was never a uh, Kyuk So you skipped into project. Yeah, I skipped into yeah. project for the last six months. Damn. Yeah, because even when I left, he was still just Yunsub Singh. And then, yeah. like later, I heard he was debuting with uh, God Seven. So I was like, oh shit! Wow. All right, yeah. nice. Nice. That's yeah. exactly my reaction. <laughs> oh, <laughs> guys, <laughs> oh, <laughs> guys, Jackson, you're in God Seven. Oh, sh- <laughs> oh sh- <laughs> thank you, God. <laughs> Holy. No, you know, but like. Um, at first, you know, they they thought you know I had a sense of humor in some mm. way in my personality, mm. and and they said, hey, you you would probably do good in variety shows, you know. Mm. And then I'll, oh, thank you, like whatever you tell me to do, I do it. I'm here for you, twenty four seven. And then they they said, yeah, give it a try. Okay, you. I, I was actually almost the last member to be confirmed. Mm. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's like a story of the underdog. Our um. Parents in Hong Kong as crazy about education as like Korean parents. Are. Oh my! Uh, my dad's uh, national uh, fencer. Uh, he is. A he he, fencer he used too. to be oh. a Olympian fencer. Dang! My wow. my dad, and then my mom's Olympian gymnast. Got Olympia in your so blood. My, my dad's like the first Chinese who won gold medalist in China. 
for China wow. for fencing, oh. saber, wow. men's saber. My mom's a world champ gymnast. And then they met in uh, Los Angeles <gasps> Olympics. That's a big name to look yeah, up, they, live up to, huh? Yeah, they, I th- yeah, I think they met in yeah Los Angeles Olympics. All right. Or it was it other tournaments? Because mm-hmm. you know how my my mom's from Shanghai, my mm. dad's from Guangzhou. Uh-huh. So as for national team, everybody has to gather in Beijing. Mm, okay. It's like it's like in Korea if you're Busan, if you're like uh, uh, from Daegu or right, right, right. wherever, right? And then if you're in the national team, you have to go to Seoul, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Right. That's the training camp, you right, know. Right. And and yeah, and they met there, and then you know, you know what happened? They fell in love. Yeah. <laughs> and then my dad did his stuff. Yeah. And, and, you know, he 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 made his move. Yeah. Mm. And then my brother's out. And uh, my brother's out. I have a brother. He's 1986. Oh, you have an older yeah, brother. Have an older brother. He used to be a, a former uh, rugby rugby oh, player. Oh, okay. and he must yeah. be. So like, mm. He used to, but now everything melt. Oh. <laughs> everything, everything melted after he he has a child. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, but, okay. That oh. happens. Yeah. Please don't show him this footage. <laughs> <laughs> Is he no, still but in he Hong was Kong? so buff. Yeah, you have to be yeah, for one punch right. from him. Done. Yeah. Is he still in Hong Kong? No, he lives in Australia. Oh, he played uh, for uh, a rugby team. Ah, in that Australia. makes sense. Okay, I was gonna yeah. say. I was like, oh, I didn't yeah. know rugby was big in Hong Kong. Either. Rugby sevens uh, is big, and, and uh, Australia is really good in. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he went. And then, yeah, as uh, uh, my parents, they're they're very strict about ac- academics, education. Oh, they are okay. And then at that time, I I got scholarships from uh, different universities, mm-hmm. and one of them was actually my dream university, Stanford. Like I got like fencing scholarships. Wow! So they would uh, uh, they would offer me. I was in grade eleven, and mm-hmm. then they would offer me like, uh, oh, we will accept you. Uh. For fencing scholarship, but you can't choose your major. Like it's it, it has to be related to sport. Oh. So, it's like, oh, okay, okay. so I chose like uh, psychology, sport, oh. sports, uh, sports oh, psychology. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I chose that, and then everything was almost confirmed. And then all of a sudden, I was just like to my dad, "I want to be a singer." <laughs> he so that thought was I was your kidding. choice. Yeah, okay, he okay. thought I was kidding. You yeah. know, because that time it was exam day. After the exam, everyone left. You know, exam, you, you finish around like 11 a.m. Right. Everyone left. I was still in school playing basketball. Just mm-hmm. chilling with friends right. that day. Mm-hmm. And then… Uh, JYP casting team came. Oh, okay. That's they came. Uh-huh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You know, she yeah. came. And then they're like, hey… Uh, uh, they saw me in the basketball You got court. casted. Yeah, okay, I got okay. Casted. Yeah, and then… Uh, they said, uh, "Do you want to be a singer, or do you want to be a a, a celebrity, a, like singer, or like Rain, or like you know, one of the girls?" Or honestly, at that time, I didn't really know. Uh-huh. Right, uh, right, right. But all my, I have a lot of Korean friends in my school. They're mm. telling me like, "Yo, you should." Before they came, they were like, "Hey, you should audition for SM. You should audition for JYP." I didn't know what it was, uh-huh. so I search it up. It's like, oh, I said, oh, it's pretty cool. You know, it's pretty good. I really, I really like Big Bang. Mm. And then, and then, I love. <laughs> I really like, you know, uh, Tong Bang Xingyi. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. And then, and then they came. So it mean it, to me, it means something. You know, mm. like my friends kept telling me. And then one day they actually came. Right. And then the, they're like, "Do you want to be this?" And then I just, I had a, I had a hobby mm. of dancing. Uh-huh. That's where that. Video came from. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, I, okay. Link, link me don't that judge. later, though. Don't judge. Don't judge. Don't judge. No, okay. no, no, no. <laughs> don't judge. I have a hobby: dancing in shower. Oh. You know, oh, like, you, shower. you have that too. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. admit it. Admit it. <laughs> everyone, okay? everyone. Okay, and singing. You yes. know, and then sh- she's like, "Do you know how to dance?" I say, I-, "I love dancing, but I don't know." Like I'm not professional, and she's like, "Dance for me with no music <gasps> on the spot, <gasps> yeah, on the spot in front of everyone." Oh my so I'm god! Like, so I was like, "I have nothing to lose," you know. Like just I show them some wave, what? and then, and then <laughs> it, was, it was like, awkward ah. as. Ah. It, was, it was awkward as. <laughs> yeah. Everyone, because we had like. A building, you know, basketball right. court, the building, everyone was watching. Oh my god! Dang! And and then yeah. what she say on the and spot? She's like, mm, uh, "Come by Saturday. Yeah, come by like Sunday. Uh, 
to the actual audition. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> so I went. I was waiting, and then Ji Young Nuna, like uh, the 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 yeah, yeah. she was part the, of the casting team. Yeah, now she's a head. Yeah, of, she, now uh, she's a like, head of a uh, division. Oh wow! And then she's like, "Oh, you're you're here. Come in, come in. Um, let's have let, let's record you." And then I was like, "Record me doing what?" And I was like, "Yeah, just do that thing you did. <laughs> do, that thing you did. <laughs> do that thing you did." Uh, at the basketball, at the basketball court. court. Yeah. I'm like, I don't remember the routine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I, I, and I did that. And then, and then, and then, just like, mm. and then it took them like three, four, uh, seven months to hit <gasps> to me get back. you back. What? Yeah, they took me. Oh, no, seven, three months. Sorry, three months to hit me oh, back. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and they yeah. waited for another four months because wow. that four month was the struggle between me and my friends, my family, and and, and all the fencing. Teammates, right? Waiting yeah. for that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Waiting, yo. Going back to the hardest part about doing doing all this um, celebrity uh, artist stuff. Waiting is one of the hardest parts, I think. Mm-hmm. Waiting, having to wait for like your approval. time to approval, yeah. your time to you know drop what you want to drop, yeah. and like when you're not a hundred percent dictating all of what's going on. I mm-hmm. think that's one of the hardest parts. What were we even talking about? <laughs> We were, right, we were supposed to talk about hometown, hometown we're, but we're, I mean, we we touched on it a lot. <laughs> a little we, bit, a little we, just, a tip. just like the like tip of the iceberg, a little bit. Um, Not I feel even like a tip, maybe like a little <laughs> sprinkle of snow. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you guys, you didn't have makeup on. Why did why did I go for a makeup? Well, I was supposed to, and I should have, but I uh, just didn't. I've, I've never didn't, done makeup for. God, I think you're gonna look better for the camera, though. Yeah, you're no, gonna look better than I, us. Honestly, I don't really care. Because mm. <laughs> I thought you guys… I thought it would be um, impolite mm. to, to not… You know, oh no, no, no. And we used to in the beginning. But now we're just like… I did. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's get real. We show our real faces. <laughs> That's why I wear you, glasses and a hat. You look, you look the best. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, your face is going to be the thumbnail for yeah. this one. <laughs> this one? Okay. This is um, a rhetorical question. It's it's yes for sure. I feel like all of our experiences growing up and just what we see and what we do and who we're around have a huge impact on where we're at right now and who we are as human beings too. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Damn. Life's been crazy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what a crazy ride. <laughs> I mean, I feel like… Because we all grew up in the States, mm-hmm. we definitely have a different mindset yeah. from uh, Korean… Like majority of Korean people. Yeah. And because of that, it's like I think we stress about different things maybe. Oh yeah, definitely. And it's like… Oh like… I don't get this but why does it have to be this way? Like I don't right. get it. But then in their head, they're kind of like why doesn't he get it? Right. You know? So it's like… Yeah, well, where you grew up and everything, it definitely has an impact on where you're gonna live later. True. For sure. True. Mm-hmm. So, do you guys want to move back to your hometowns later and live oh, there? Oh yeah, I'm. Um, I'm moving back soon to you are? to Beijing. Okay. Oh. Because you know my mom, both both of my parents, they're in Hong Kong right now, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then I'm. Separated with them for ten years already. Oh you know? wow. So, and my my mom and dad they're like uh, 65, 63 mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. already. So, <clears throat> honestly, you know, as, as a son, uh, I want to spend more time with them. Of yeah. course, and yeah, of course, you know, uh, move. Uh, I'm planning to move back to Beijing with them to Aww. live together mm-hmm. and. You know, it, there's still a, a huge difference uh, seeing them in person every day mm-hmm. than FaceTiming. Right. Yeah. Of course. You know? Of course. So huge, difference. huge difference. You know, you touch, you you you, you hug, you you talk in person for even ten minutes or an hour or, or spending a day together. You know, mm-hmm. as as many as I can. Yeah. yeah, for yeah. sure, for sure. Aww. I remember when you came out on uh, Roommates, was yeah. it? The variety show. And then you like uh, reunited with your mom. Oh and I was God. like crying. I was just that. about to bring that up. bro. I was, I was in the gym. I was like… <laughs> <laughs> no, but honestly, yeah, it's two years not seeing your parents. And like I said, I was really in depression. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I can't help. 
Yeah. Such a good yeah. son. <sighs> yeah, dude, he <laughs> he takes care of his family like crazy. My 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 mom, my parents are like, you know, sometimes I don't you guys probably feel the same. You know, at, at, at some point your parents some some actions that they do. Mm-hmm. You can tell that they're they're a little bit little by little aging. Yeah. Yeah. And mm-hmm. you get sad mm-hmm. and you yeah. get like oh, I need to protect them. You yeah. know, like you you don't you don't you feel that? Definitely. I mean, I see I see my parents at most um maybe once every once every year and that's yeah, at yeah, most. Yeah. And every time I see them, there's like a new blemish on their face. There's mm. new gray hairs coming out and I'm just like, damn, like you know, you you see it because you don't see the in betweens, like the stress yeah. in betweens, and mm-hmm. um, when you do see that, it's like you you know, it used to be me coming to you, but now it it you could slowly see the transition of it, you know, going sure. back, right, going, right, right, turning around, and you're gonna have to, you know, at one time come to the realization that you're gonna have to take care of them. Mm-hmm. So, sometimes also that they. As a kid, I always thought, you know, they're they're warriors, mm. you know, mm. like mommy, like daddy, invincible, you know? yeah. invincible, Superman, you know, mommy, daddy. But at some point, I feel uh, they're starting to mm, get soft, be more child, mm. yeah, like a little bit more. Not in a bad way. <laughs> not in a ba- bad way. You know, not in a, yeah, not, yeah, yeah. I don't know how to describe it, but uh-huh. not in a bad way. But they start to act more cute <laughs> in some ways. Mm-hmm. So it makes me feel like because of that action, I the way how I analyze it is oh, they're I need to protect. They're right. seeking for protection. Mm, right. behind me? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Should I see a shadow game? <laughs> Somebody creeping yeah. on me. Yeah, so I think this is a good time to get into mail time. Um, it's not have- a good time to get. We didn't finish talking about. All right. Well, we'll can I come back next time? Yes, we could, we could, yeah, for sure. Yeah. You, you could you could be a host if you want to. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> we'll we'll get back into it and chop it up about all yeah. that for another episode. I feel like we could get into a lot of different stuff with Jackson, but we have yeah. some users on Reddit. Um, that are looking for insight. Mm-hmm. We have user WBR869. And this user says, So I'm a 29-year-old male and I moved back to my hometown in Ohio after four years away in Cleveland. 80 mm-hmm. miles away. Mm-hmm. I have found after almost a year back that I don't like being in that readily accessible to my brother. Oh, I don't like being that readily accessible to my brother or parents and my friends from the past that I have less in common with. The people in the town don't share the same values as me, which is a struggle. I ha- which is a struggle. I have opportunities to leave and head out to Salt Lake City and I, and I am tempted by it. I left Ohio temporarily seven years ago and was unhappy, but… In talking to my peers and family, they feel it was because it was a temporary move around six months and I was never truly settled. I loved my time in Cleveland and enjoyed the freedom of not being so close to my family, uh, as bad as that sounds. Is it stupid to uproot my life at 29? Oh, there's there's more. Can you read it? This, oh, part of yeah, me is also is browsing opportunities in Europe. Mm. I traveled a lot through my 20s and loved the adventure and feel like that is missing. Uh, I thought I was ready to settle down and stop traveling for work. But after 25 weeks straight of working in one place, I'm not sure it's for me. Has anyone moved back to their hometown and regretted it? Mm. Hmm. What's the problem, man? <laughs> <laughs> so I think… Yeah. Um, this yeah, what's the problem, man? <laughs> They're not happy. So mm. I feel like they were pretty happy in Cleveland. I don't think it's mm. stupid to start… Fresh at 29 and yeah. moving to a different city because like you said, you're already… Your values aren't… You know, you guys don't share the same values back in your hometown and you're just not going to be happy. And if you're there, I feel like you're going to be miserable and like blame your family for having to move back maybe internally um, and just like be stressed over that. So I think um, it's a good chance to head out to a new city and… Um, you know, discover yourself even more and have new opportunities. I don't know. I think that's what I would do. Oh, yeah, I mean, 
didn't you pretty much have a new start around 29 too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically. Right? So yeah. yeah. So I don't think it's too late mm-hmm. ever to kind of have a fresh start. And then they said that I loved my time in Cleveland and enjoyed the freedom of not being so close to my family. So then… I think… Oh, um, he's still in the moment. Yeah, I think uh. he still wants to like explore and stuff. Because they said part of me is also browsing opportunities in Europe. Yeah. So I feel like they still want to travel. They still want to experience life a bit more. Mm-hmm. So then go out. Do all that. And then… I'm sure they're going to start missing their family as they get a bit yeah. older. Yeah. And like, you know, like us. Like they come back every once in a while. They see their parents mm-hmm. aging and stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm sure they're going to want to move back or… Like you said, right, maybe right. even take their family to wherever they're living right. um, eventually, you know. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, I think right now they could yeah. just… I don't think it's a stupid move to uproot your life at 29. I think they could still go out and experience I think life. he should know what he truly wants. He mm-hmm. should know himself better. And then yeah. start making plans and go towards it and ex- execute it. Right, that's right, that's right, right. easy. <laughs> isn't it? It's easy, isn't it? It's, it's easy. Uh, it's a lot easier said than done, though. No, no, but <laughs> sit, sit down for at least like thirty minutes to think about it. I think what you want to do, right? Know yourself, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you want a high five when you did this? Actually, no. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no. I was like, right? You know yourself, right? <laughs> Look, but it was like, if a, I, I wanted, like, I wanted high five. I would do this. I thought you wanted one in like an agreement, but yes, I did. Okay, thank you for that, bro. Thank you. I was like, I was like. That was kind of awkward. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, uh, yeah. Something was off about that. All right, we have a user CO1088. And the user asked, Does moving back to my hometown make me a failure? I'm 24, married, about to start my last semester of graduate school. And I was born and raised wait, in wait, Tennessee wait, 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 as a husband. Wait. She's married? He is married. Oh, he's married? Oh, she's, she's married. Yeah, married. Yeah, she's, she's married. married. Yeah. She's 24 and about to start her last semester of graduate school. I was born and raised in Tennessee, as is my husband. We moved to Colorado two weeks after getting married, so I could attend a top 10 grad school program. It's been almost two years now, and my husband is miserable here. He lost his job here and got a new one he hates, has made few friends here, misses our families, and finds nothing enjoyable about Colorado. Mm. I love Colorado, but have also made few friends and miss my family back home. Because he is so un happy, we have talked and agreed together to move back to Tennessee to the town where I went to college about 30 minutes from our hometown. Mm. There's a lot I'm looking forward to. Cheaper cost of living, a happy husband, good food, and being close to family. But at the same time, I'm incredibly depressed and have feelings of being a failure. You see, no one ever leaves my hometown. They grow up there, go to school close by, then go home to live there, work there, and raise all their children with their high school friends' children. I'm the only person I know who got farther than six to seven hours away. And I feel like by moving back, I'm just like everyone else. A failure who couldn't make it outside of the bubble. Logically, I know I'm doing this out of love for my husband and practically. For example, a house in Tennessee versus Colorado is $100,000 cheaper. But I still feel like I'm admitting defeat by doing this. Is this all in my head or am I really a failure if I move back home? Excuse me. (laughs) (laughs) He didn't even let you finish. He's like, hold on. No, 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 no. no. Hold on a second. (laughs) I really disagree with that phrase of… Then I would be like everyone else. Uh Okay? Like what, what is wrong? Like you're… You're married, okay? You're you're going there for your education. You're living your life, you know? And no one should judge you. And you shouldn't care about what other people, how they see you. You live your life, you know? Right. So, so, so I think too much… Uh, 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 too much stress. <laughs> too, <okay. laughs> too much stress <laughs> thinking about, oh, how are they going to see me? How are they going to think about me? How are… Yeah. You know, stop that. I mean, before that, get yourself… Come on, help me out here, bro. <laughs> you know what it sounds like? Get yourself solid. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I feel yeah. like it's also sort of like an ego thing. Like, oh, I'm the first one to move out mm-hmm. and He's, stuff like that. Right. But um, that doesn't matter, man. It's you know, like it's like no. What does it unhappy. mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm the first one to move out nine hours away. Uh, what does it mean? Uh, 
Um, Probably nothing. feels like success. What? Like it I moved mean. to Jeju though. What does it mean? <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Mean, mean you know what it is? I feel like this like, person you, you right know? here. I can kind of resonate a little bit with this person <laughs> because um, when I when I first left the states, the last thing I told all my close friends was. I'm gonna buy you a Rolex. I'm gonna buy you a Rolex. I'm gonna buy you a Rolex. We're gonna buy a mansion. We're gonna party for life when I'm back. And um, I think she's kind of scared to move back because she's afraid of having the image of failure. Yeah. But um, that I feel like also she's on her quarter life crisis. Have you heard of quarter life crisis? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Like at some at some point of your life, you just run into to that Emehan timing. Yeah. So you're 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 just worried so. Worried about the future that it gives you anxiety and like you're in a very very rough place. Sometimes even depression. Mm-hmm. I feel like she could be in that state right now because she's exactly 24. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. It's very natural for that to come around that age, and I feel like she also has a lot of weight on her shoulders, being that she is married too, and her husband is not really enjoying where they're at. Mm. And um. But at the end of the day, I feel like anyone who's been through that crisis before or just going through a life that's been through a similar situation that feels the way you feel will tell you just take baby steps you know what yeah. i mean don't look too far and don't don't really give a shit about what people are going to say to you when you're back it doesn't make you a failure when you Man. go back home also you know what I mean? yeah what is their definition of failure it's like just cuz they move back doesn't mean that they stop doing whatever they're doing yeah i feel like failure is when you actually quit yeah. you know right. but Moving right. back isn't quitting. That's yeah. just another step in their life. It's for a better life. Yo, right. people are going to say whatever they're going to say. You know, like you can't control that. And you can't have everything you want. You know, yeah. you can't have everything yeah. you want in life. Just set few targets or a few goals. Then think about… You can't You can't have like… Uh, 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 oh, okay. Your, 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 your husband's not happy there. He's having like a mis- miserable time over there. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's one problem. And then the… Se- what's the second problem? The He's second… Going back. Housing. Going back. Housing, yeah, housing, housing is, problem. And yeah. then the third problem is moving back because people think you came back. You're a fail. And then… Uh, uh, that's another problem, right? It, you you got to give up one. You, <laughs> you know, know, you can't have everything. Yeah, you got to make a sacrifice. Yeah. yeah. Right. My dad mentioned this to me because uh, my parents are back in the States and yeah. my uh, parents haven't come back to Korea in 21 years now. Like never. Uh-huh. Um, and my parents still are working their asses off there. Um, and my parents don't speak English. Uh, and I told my dad to come back to Korea because now that I'm here and I don't think I'm going to be moving back for a while. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, just come here. Like, I, you know, like I can help you and right. blah, blah, blah. But he said… I don't want to move back because like people are going to think I'm a failure because um, when he Who when you move people? to the states I guess <laughs> no, his this friends is my, mom, like, my mom say that too sometimes yeah. my mom my mom's I said I said mom uh, 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 can you do something so no then everyone would think I'm this. I'm like, who's everyone? <laughs> who, tell me who is everyone? My relatives like yeah, but. Yeah. Come on. Mm-hmm. You, you know, this is yeah. the thing I have with my parents too. Yeah. Right. yeah. I was like, he is, because when right. people, when you move to America, your friends think like, oh my God, he's successful. He must uh. be living the life. But when he comes back, he's going to have to find a new job in Korea, which is hard to do at his age. Mm-hmm. And it's not like he has like so much money that he can come here and just buy a house. Right. Um, and he, like, my parents are also separated. So I'm like, just come here, like, and be with your family, be with your, be with your mom and your brothers here mm-hmm. in Korea. Cause I feel like he'd be much happier here. But at the same time, he still worries about what other people will think because yeah. he, it's not like he made it and he came back able to support the rest of his family. He's mm-hmm. going to have to come back and start fresh. Right. And I'm like, ugh, like, don't worry about that, you know? But at the same right. time, he has a lot of pride too. So I'm just yeah. like, okay, I guess, like, the yeah. thing is, you really got to know what, what makes you truly happy. Mm-hmm. You know, like not not how other people judge and view you. Mm. You know, I, yeah. I really… Honestly, I, I I don't really like that. Yeah. 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 I feel like that's a, so that's a perfect way to wrap up the show, bro. Like, don't really… We're we're not gonna wrap up anything. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, <if you> want, <laughs> episode two. <laughs> we're gonna, we'll see you guys in a minute. <laughs> um. Yeah. yeah. Like Jackson was saying, you know, don't really, don't let other people's views really 
dictate how you move and you maneuver through life. Um, that can put you in a in a huge hindrance and um, stop you from making bigger moves. So you know, do you and don't really yeah. care. Yeah, yeah, and like at the, yeah. yeah, no, no, go ahead. Uh, and like your husband's gonna be happier, and your marriage is probably gonna be happier. Yo. So you're gonna be happier in the Yo. end. Yeah. And you're close to family. That gives you so much support, like mentally, more than you know, like sure. mentally and emotionally. So. In the end, you might be happier. You just don't know. You're it's, just you just have a lot of fear right now. It's yeah. even more sad to gossip. Yeah, you know I mean, because yes, you really have nothing to do to <laughs> gossip. Mm. Like usually, people gather around. They have a drink. What do they do most of the time? They gossip, mm. uh-huh. right? Like they, it, it's it's sad to gossip. I would just say that mm. and. Uh, yeah, so don't don't really care about what how other people judge you and right. just focus on your root. Yeah. Amen. Yo. Yep. Whew. Right. Gave you a lot of gems this episode. <laughs> that being said, we're gonna wrap it up. That was smooth, bro. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, I, I shaved this morning. Be, yeah. Nice, bro. If you go the other way, you can feel it though. No, not really. Oh I really? Same. I have up till here. Yeah, bro, you kind of gnarly. I, yeah, I have to up till there. Oh, when we're thirty-five, we're about to be macho relate. as hell. <laughs> I, I can't know. relate. Okay, before this uh, goes uh, sideways again, um, thank you, Jackson, for being on this episode. We, Anytime, bro. We Anytime. will invite you to more. Definitely. Yes. It was a blessing having you here. If you guys wish to stay updated on this show, we have IG and Twitter at The Dive Studios. Full episodes on YouTube.com slash Dive Pods. Also, do you want to shout out your um, Instagram, Instagram, your Twitter, Twitter where, YouTube? Yo. Yeah. I mean, uh, my own label is called Team Wang. Team. And we just op- uh, we just launched our uh, YouTube channel. Okay. It's on mm-hmm. my uh, Instagram link. And… What's your Instagram link? <clears throat> My Instagram link is when you type Jackson Wang and uh, the the the, the, the blue check mark is Ooh. there. Flex. So. Not flex. Just, just, just the… the Facts. Facts. <laughs> Facts. No, no, no. And then… Your oh, Patreon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this year… This year, I'm probably going to release… Um, 40 plus songs. <gasps> just uh, this year alone. Yeah, 2021. Year alone. Okay. One, one English album, one Chinese album, and 20 songs in like different collaborations. Okay. Uh, uh, projects. Um, and there will be also… Um, to be continued. <laughs> to be continued. Uh, various artists coming out of Team Wang. Woo! Yeah. So… Uh, oh, you're uh, going to be signing and people. And then… Okay. And then… Um, a lot of great stuff coming out. So stay tuned. Every yeah. month will be a surprise. Yeah. All keep right, a lookout right. for Team Wang. Once again, yeah. subscribe to and review this podcast. And thank you everyone for listening. See you guys next time. Peace. Bye. Peace. Hey, did you like this video? If so, click the subscribe button. And make sure to turn on your notifications so you don't miss a single video. And listen to the entire audio episode on Spotify or Apple Podcasts.